good afternoon everyone so let me share my screen okay so earlier like we discussed about couple of uh, topics like interview questions and real time scenarios as well right so today like uh, uh, we are going to uh, today like we are going to discuss about couple of uh, interview questions uh, like in trigger perspective so let me share my screen i mean open ppt okay so like today we are going to discuss about couple of interest questions and scenarios as well and like apex triggers like so triggers and apex questions like you can discuss about this today what are the trigger events so what are the triggers events in available sales force like in mainly triggers you can say like before and after right like before triggers after triggers or else like before mode after mode right so what is mean by before mode before save the record i mean before triggers before save the record before the record will be saving into the database it will be fired before save the before the record is saving into the database it will be fine right so after mode means after triggers after after the record is saved into the database it doesn't commit at the point of time but it will be fine that should be the before and after triggers right so what are the events what are the events available into the salesforce right so uh, in before like in in before side like before insert before update and before delete in after side like after insert after update and after delete and we have one more event called like after and delete but before and delete like there is no event uh, is not available to the salesforce right so before insert before update before delete after insert after update after delete and after and delete so these are the events available to the salesforce i mean in triggers apex triggers see here like what are the what are the trigger contact variables so what are the trigger context variables so these are the most frequently asked question to the triggers so here like to capture the runtime information so we use the trigger context variables like why we are using like trigger context variables to capture the to capture the runtime information information we use the trigger context variables to capture the runtime information okay so like below context variables will be written either true or false right so so what are these like first of all like before trigger dot is before trigger dot is before trigger dot is after trigger dot is insert trigger dot is update trigger dot is delete trigger dot is undelete and trigger dot is executing so these are the uh, context variables and coming to eighth one also be below context variables will be stored the records at the runtime like trigger dot old uh, stores history old version of the records trigger dot new old map stores the history old versions of the records along with id so trigger dot new stores the new version of the records and trigger dot old new map stores the new version of the records along with id okay so these are the context variables so while coming to the trigger dot is after it returns the true it, it returns the true if the trigger context were after mode a trigger dot is insert means returns the true if the trigger dot context variable is insert so similarly is update is, is delete is undelete and executing the Recorder is executing. It should be returns true if the Apex class method is getting all getting call from Apex trigger. It should be a trigger executing. It should be a trigger executing, right? Like availability of trigger dot old and trigger dot new for the different trigger events. So what are the trigger events available to the trigger dot old and trigger dot new, right? So if say like. Uh, Apex trigger corrective information of the different events, right? What are the events? Before insert, before update, after insert, after update, and before delete. I mean, sorry, after delete, uh, after undelete, right? So, in trigger dot old, so these are the events, it's not available. Only trigger dot new should be before insert available. While coming to after insert, it's available to trigger dot new and trigger dot new map. And coming to before update, it should be available for all the events like before trigger dot old trigger dot old map trigger dot new trigger dot new maps all should be available after update same all should be available and before update we have only two trigger dot old and trigger dot old map and coming to after update trigger dot old trigger dot old map only two right so these are the availability and coming to read right accessibility of trigger dot old trigger dot new 
so while coming to here like event same so trigger at old is not available trigger at new should be read and write so after enter read only and read only similarly before update read only read only read and write and read and write after update read only read only read only completely read only before delete so uh, read only read only not applicable not applicable after delete read only read only not applicable after and delete only read only read only for these two so when we use like before triggers and when we use after triggers so this also uh, frequently asked question in interview perspective like when we are using before triggers when we are using after triggers so before triggers to perform the validation should be before triggers like if you updating the any field on the same object if you updating the any field on the same object which you are writing the trigger and no need to explicitly include the dml statements it's nothing but a like before triggers like if you want to perform the same uh, i mean if you want to update something in the same object then we can use before triggers if you want to update the any child objects or like relationship objects then we can go with like after triggers simply you need to say like what when we are using triggers before triggers when we are using after trigger means before triggers we have to use like within the same object after trigger means we have to use like relation i mean related objects like child objects so that's the main difference uh, for the same event like if there is there are multiple triggers on the object how to control the order of execution we cannot control right so we cannot uh, we cannot control of the control the order of execution in this situation it recommended to have only one trigger per one object it's a best practice to do when only one trigger per one object so we cannot i mean we can write but it's a, it's not best practices okay so only one one trigger for one object is the best practices available okay we can uh, keep the logic of the apex class and we can uh, invoke the apex class the class so what are the recursive trigger and how to avoid so if we perform update operation on the record after update event logic recursive trigger will be arrays so using starting boolean variable in the apex class we can avoid recursive triggers see there is a scenario like there is a uh, validation rule which will be fire amount uh, equal to 100 and it will be displaying error message so there is a workflow rule which will be fire if amount greater than 100 and it will be updating the amount field to the 100 so one of users save the record by giving what value of value is thousand what will be value of the amount field so this is the scenario so while coming to the order of execution so right like validation rules will be fired first so the answer is like 100 even through there is a validation rule because of workflow rule it will be everything 100 in the amount of field so the answer should be 100 why because while coming to validation rule and workflows like coming to order of execution like validation rule should be fired first similarly another scenario so there is a before trigger which will be fired amount equal to same scenario but we are using like trigger so there is a before trigger which will be fired if amount equal to 100 and display the error message and coming to workflow rule there is a workflow rule which should be fired amount greater than 100 and it will be updating the field amount 100 so one of the user save the record by using like thousand what will be the value of the amount field it will throw the validation error because after the workflow field after the workflow field uh, workflow workflow field update before triggers before triggers fire on the fire one more time right so while coming to this scenario it will throw on a validation error why because we are using like uh, before triggers so while coming to the order of execution also uh, so before triggers will be fire first right so everybody knows that like because of after the workflow field update the trigger update the before triggers fire one more time so this is the answer right so these are the frequently asked entry questions under the like uh, apex, apex trigger it's a basic entry questions and it's like scenario based entry questions okay so coming to next video like we'll update in the batch apex classes or some different topics right so we'll cover like real-time scenarios as well like this video okay thanks thanks for watching